This is Code.org, and it is cupcake time. Everyone's favorite time. So much better than pie time. I hate pie. I'm just saying. The crust? No go. All right. What do we got here? Cupcake class represents a <laughs> cupcake. Yep. Project Mercury pastries food truck. Cool. Import the dessert class, and we should definitely have this. So backpack, click a poo on dessert, and import. Now, keep in mind, if you're missing it, you might have uh, forgot to commit in four. Lesson four, but you can also click here, copy that code over, make sure you name the file right. All right, but we have it, dessert. Cool. Refactor the cupcake class to be a subclass of dessert. All right, so there are alarm bells going off in my head. A subclass, well, a subclass is built on top of another class, right? So dessert and cupcake is a perfect example. This is super common. Uh, for instance, maybe in a video game, and I've given this example before, but it's good. In a video game, you might have, a, I don't know, an RPG game where you can be a wizard or a knight or a barbarian, for instance, and there would be a parent class, which would be character, maybe. And then the subclass could be a uh, wizard. So all characters will have certain things like a uh, health. And then maybe the wizard has a mana or a magic power. And that's particular to that subclass. This is used all the time. All right. That being said, you would also probably have a, another character called a non-playable character. That would be a subclass based on it. All right. Anyways, here we go. We got this. Now let's see. First thing I need to check is my subclass. Oh, we got to extend because that's the word we use because cupcake is extending. It's built on top of dessert. So we have to have the word extends here so the computer knows, yep, this is built on this, meaning everything this can do, this has, this will have access to. So with that being said, we need to get rid of redundant redundancies. In programming, you don't want redundancies. Well, I do something twice. Flavor and price. Dessert, flavor, and price. We got to kill those off. We don't need to have them in cupcake now because cupcake also has access to everything dessert does. So Boom. And now that we just got rid of those, we'll look down here. We set flavor down here. We set price down here, but we just killed those off. Those are going to get set when the dessert class gets, uh, when the, the dessert part of the object is getting created. So let me go ahead and kill these off because those are already set right here in dessert. Boom. And cupcake extends dessert. So we're good. Up oh, and here again, we have them again. Now, this time, we're going to be more careful. I do need to kill them, but we still need to set them, right? So if the user, if someone is creating or instantiating a new object, and they do want to change the flavor and the price, they should be able to do that. But it's no longer in Cupcake, right? Cupcake is on top of dessert. So we can let them give a new flavor and a new price, but we need to ask the computer to run the code within dessert to do that. And the fancy way of doing that... We don't write dessert here. We're not going to ask it directly to run the constructor because we don't need to. We can write super. And the reason this works, guys, super, the computer says, what on earth is super? What is above me? What's so fancy? And it starts to hunt. It goes, mm, smack. Okay, cupcake. Is there something? Of, oh, it, it's extended. Okay, so dessert is above cupcake. Then it knows super is just going to run the constructor dessert. So, oh, 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 I got to run dessert 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 and if there's no uh arguments then it would run this one however we're going to set a flavor and price so it will automatically run that one let's give this a shot new flavor new price give that a shot let's make us a cup of cake what type of cupcake do i want oh well first cupcake we're instantiating an object um I'm going to say mine's chocolate, and then it's going to be new cupcake. And then we have flavor. Uh, that could um, also, dark chocolate's gross, but I just want to show you that it's uh, different than the name of this cupcake. Chocolate, dark chocolate. Students who disagree with me just failed my class. Dark chocolate is gross. Um, cupcakes, <laughs> 125. And then, uh, what was it, filling? I don't, I don't know. Why don't you know? Uh, oh, new, so new frosting and a boolean for sprinkles. Oh, well, I'm going to say lemon frosting because that also sounds good, so why not? Sure, new frosting is going to be lemon and sprinkles will be true. Bam. 
Let's hit run on this guy. We just don't want to see errors. Perfect. So that is good to go. I like, I'm a visual person, right? This is correct. We got this. We're good. I like to double check. I like to confirm everything's running appro uh, appropriately. So I'll often throw in a system dot. Print L in here, and I'm just going to print out flavor. I'll have to delete this in a sec, but I just want to make sure we got everything firing as needed. Dark chocolate. Awesome. Bam. And this is a perfect time to commit, so I don't forget. So cupcake, commit, cupcake. And I could also talk about the parameterized constructor. That's good for my purposes. Commit. Sweet. Onward.